What's up? Today we're talking about equivalent expressions when we are using algebra. Um, and so let's get to it. So we know expressions are, are when we have um, variables um, and different ways of combining uh, variables. Variables are letters that represent numbers. We sometimes know what those uh, variables are, what their value is, and sometimes we don't but more often it's an unknown. Um, and what distinguishes an expression from an equation is that there is no equal sign. Right, now, now we have an equation um, and the equation might ask me to solve for x. Um, and just by looking at this, I know that three times two plus one equals seven, so x equals two, so I can solve the expression that way. And you are going to learn a variety of ways to solve um, algebraic expressions and equations um, later. But for now, we're just gonna talk about equivalent expressions. Um, and so um, another expression would be, let's say I babysit for the neighbor's kid, just making that up, I make $10 per hour. And let's say they tell me to come over um, at you know 3 p.m., but they don't know how long that they, they'll be out, so they don't know how long I'll be babysitting for. So let so the expression to describe how much money how much money I would earn would be maybe 10 times h, 10 times the number of hours. And then let's say I work um, three hours, then I know that h equals three. And I now have made $30. Um, and so that the 10H is an expression. Um, let's say the neighbor says, I'm going to pay you $10 an hour. And in addition, I'm going to give you another $9 to feed the dog one time. Well, then the algebraic expression would be, um, I don't need the dollar sign right now, um, would be 10 H plus nine. So again, I go over there for, um, let's just say it's just two hours. Then it would be 10 times two. Remember this dot represents multiplication. We could also um, use parentheses next to each other. And that also represents multiplication, 10 times two plus nine. We always have to follow the order of operations. Um, and so now we have 20 plus nine and I would make $29. Um, so this is all the different ways that algebra um, is, is actually used um, or can be used. But back to what I was saying about equivalent expressions. An equivalent expression in algebra is when you have an algebraic expression, algebraic expressions that have the same value, equal values, even though they might not be written the same way. So what do I mean by that? Let's say, let me give you an example. 3x equals x plus x plus x. These are equivalent expressions because, because 3x equals x plus x plus x. And we know this because of, um, actually in this case, it would be the distributive property. Um, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, in, a, in a little bit. But um, these are equivalent expressions. And if we're not always sure, we can substitute numbers. Let's pretend x equals two. Well, three times two equals two plus two plus two. And we know that's true because six equals six. Um, and so one way to think about it is that on each side of the equation, if it's an equivalent, if there are equivalent expressions, they will ultimately have the same value at the very, very end. Um, other equivalent expressions um, might be um, 2y equals y plus y. Now, it's very important to understand um, addition and multiplication properties to know if um, an algebraic expression is equivalent to another algebraic expression. So, um, for instance, in my math group, we learned about how a times x plus y equals ax plus ay because of the distributive property 
of multiplication. Um, and so these are equivalent expressions. Another example, 2, we could say 2x plus y, with the x plus y in parentheses equals 2x plus 2y. And if we kind of um, change that around, we can also say 3a plus, um, t uh, no, sorry, uh, 3b equals 3 times a plus b. It's harder to, I think, conceptualize this, but, um, but, but with more practice, you will, um, you will gain familiarity and it'll come naturally. Um, one thing is to know is that this number that is multiplied by a variable, that's called the coefficient. A number that is multiplied by a variable with a ver the, with that variable represented by the letter a letter is called a coefficient, and you'll need to know that word because um, when the coefficient is the same and you're adding terms. So if I have um, fourteen x plus fourteen z. It's the same as an equivalent expression would be 14 times x plus c. And if you're not sure, apply the distributive property, 14x plus 14z. I always draw those uh, rainbow lines to help me. Um, oh, and since we're on the subject of coefficients, it's important for you to know that a letter alone, like a, actually has a coefficient of 1 because 1a one equals a. 1b equals b. This is because of the identity property of multiplication, which tells us that any number multiplied by 1 is just itself, right? So we often don't put the coefficient of 1 when we are um, working with algebraic equations and expressions, but it's there. And it's very helpful when we are doing something like, um, let's do B plus B plus B plus B. Um, that's also the same as 1B plus, oopsies, I'm gonna, 1, I'm using different colors to try and show the coefficient. 1B plus, oopsie doopsie. Uh, 1b, and what does that equal? Well, we add these up, and they equal 4b. Um, and so we'll leave it at that. Su suffice it to say that algebraic, uh, when we're working with algebraic equations, equivalent expressions, um, will equal the same thing, even though they might be written differently. Um, and that's it. Till next time.